Hello. My spiritual father, Dr. Franco Guzzo Piero, will tell you every day about the surface of the ground. It's a bonus. For this reason, we always have to give thanks. The Bible says that in all things give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. God knows what He's doing. And that is why He said, in all things, He never said for all things, but He said, in all things give thanks. So if you're alive today, we have to give thanks. Irrespective of all the COVID-19 and all that is going on, we can pause and look through our lives and be thankful to God. But we don't have to be afraid. One man of God said, this COVID-19 has really brought the most powerful nations in the world to their knees. It's something that it didn't take God by surprise. God knew it. And if He allowed it, He allowed it for a reason. And he allowed it for a purpose. So for whatever reason God allowed it, something good will come out of it. And this also shall pass. Now just to re-emphasize on it, the COVID-19 or the coronavirus, I know people are giving all sorts of names to it. It is real. It is real, but at the end of it, God is more powerful than the COVID-19 that is causing people to be afraid and to panic. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. Don't be fearful. Because that is one of the tools and weapons of the enemy. But God says that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Regardless and irrespective of all that is going on, you have the power as a child of God. You have the love of God. And He wants you to live through this with a sound mind. So don't be afraid, but let's keep trusting and believing in God. Let's keep looking up to Him. I know to some, this is going to be the first time you're not going to meet in person. Uh, to others, this is going to be the second week you're not meeting in person. The church is not a building. The church is you and I. The fact that we are not congregating at the regular places or the usual places we used to meet doesn't mean that the church is closed. You cannot be closed because you are the church. I am the church. And I believe that this is a time that as believers, we have to stick together. We have to draw closer together and draw many more who do not have the relationship with God along with us. I know services are going to be held virtually on social media, on other platforms, on free conference call and so many other uh, platforms. But as we gather together in, in this manner or on these platforms, one thing that we must be mindful of is not to be distracted. Distraction is also another tool and a weapon of the enemy. Once he distracts you, he knows that he can let you lose your focus. Once you lose your focus, you lose your direction. Once you lose your direction, your life will be all over the place. But let's stay focused and let's do this together. So I know this Sunday is going to be amazing. It's going to be interesting. Let's, let's draw our brothers and sisters, our friends, our um, loved ones who don't have a relationship with God. Let's draw them alongside with us. Let's bring them together. And let's all worship together. Social distancing is not spiritual distancing. And with all this, we are um, obeying the rules and regulations of the land and we practice in social distancing doesn't mean that we cannot call on each other to, to check on them. This is the time that we have to draw closer to each other as we draw closer to God. And I am sure that we also have the opportunity to spread the gospel 
as never before. Once again, I want to encourage you that the God that we are serving, the God that we trust in, the God that we believe in, He knows more than we know. He sees further than we see. And if He is allowed this, I know something good is going to come out of it. But we want to pray for those who have lost their loved ones in this um, era through this coronavirus. We want to pray that God will comfort them, that they will not lose hope, that they will continue to trust and believe in God. We don't want to pray that God will wipe their tears and fill their hearts. I want to I want to share Psalm 91. I know it's a scripture that most of us know, most of you know. And I want to share the scripture with you briefly, just to encourage you. This is um, from the New Living Translation Version. It says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor disaster that strikes at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on the stone. You trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush the fierce lion and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long life and give them my salvation. So this is the word of the Lord to encourage us not to be afraid, but to stay under the covering of the Most High God. This Sunday and the rest of the Sundays we'll be meeting um, through the prayer line and on, on social media. Let's stay connected. Um, on Sundays we'll meet from 9 a.m. We'll meet on our prayer line, 774-220. 4,000, the pin number is 14490, hashtag. Invite as many people as you can. Let's connect, let's serve the Lord, let's worship the Lord together. And just as I said earlier on, this too shall pass. And once the storm is gone, it's past, you shall stand strong and stand in the Lord. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. My name is David Joe, lead pastor, All Nations Church, Virginia, Stafford, Virginia. Have an amazing and a blessed week, and we hope to connect again. God bless you. Goodbye.